My drinking is killing me. 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 I've been listening to my body and the very strange combinations and overtones that my experience with gender does to my body. When you play a C string, like you hear other notes that's besides just the C string. And this is how we build chords, but on a sort of fundamental level, the pitch that you're hearing is so relative and so subjective. And like once I have that key, I'm like, that's gender. Like that's like, I have the same experience of gender as I do sound in a room. Um, and so I started feeling it in my body. And once I could communicate with my body in a way that I knew felt loving, pleasurable like all the theoretical stuff just fell into place for me well, number one and what well, is your name please my name is egregious philbin this is my body the human body is an ecosystem designed for autoerotic pleasure there is an opening in the chest where wet dreams are made they are mixed with blood and rush forth in an orgasm. Um, so when I perform as egregious Philbin, I use layered costumes and props to morph into different gendered archetypes. I use a lot of religious imagery. In one of my acts, I transform from a nun into a Roman soldier and then into a sinister televangelist. At the end, I stab myself in the chest, pour wine out of the wound, and pull bread out of my pants and take communion. All of my performances feature some aspect of eating.
A list of newly discovered genitalia. 1. The pobis. Its gourd-like shape makes it perfect for storing pee during long car trips. Another pobis plus is that when you're having trouble peeing, due to a UTI or pee shyness, you can always let pee out of the escape hatch. One downside of having a pobis is... You know, also, I call myself non-binary for ease of people's understanding, but really, like, I don't... I just, like, fuck gender, basically, and, like, I, I do whatever I want, right? <laughs> That's my gender <laughs> identity. And um, it's possible... I really like this idea and I think I've liked this idea for many years of like bringing out kind of like a grungy ugliness and also like contrasting that with like a, I don't know, vulnerable beauty. Um, so I think these characters kind of take on a lot of that. So like a lot of them are kind of like, I think of them as bugs or I think of them as like weird kind of monsters or creatures or aliens that might like be a bit misunderstood, but are also like very tender and very, um, think a lot about how my heart is like a volcano, like that quote from Khalil Gibran, if your heart is a volcano, how shall you expect flowers to bloom in your hands? I keep waiting for my anger to go dormant, but it won't. I keep waiting for someone to reroute my anger into the ocean, but no one can. My heart is closer to Dante's peak of Dante's peak. My anger dissolves grandmas in acid lakes and raises quaint Pacific Northwest towns with ash and asphyxiates jet engines with its grit. Lava keeps leaking down my slopes. You should have listened to the scientist. You should have evacuated earlier. Embodying my, my stage persona has also really felt like a process because I think when I was first starting to perform as Chevy and I was still like figuring out stuff with my gender identity and I was also like performing really for like the first time ever um because i don't have a background in like theater or performance or anything so like it felt like there were no rules i didn't have like a base to build on it was just like i am gonna kind of like do whatever i feel like doing in the moment and there wasn't necessarily like through lines and then i think like over time it sort of evolved like chevy has I identify as non-binary. Masculine leaning is like how I feel about myself, but I feel like I present very like flamboyant masculine these days.
party last month.